Hello, my name is Edward and today I'm going to talk about my love of photography. I've been doing photography for about three years now. I started off with a basic bridge camera and then gradually progressed up to what was a Canon 200D which is an entry level DSLR. Last year I thought I would move on and instead of sticking with Canon and moving up to something like a 70D which is more of a kind of video camera than photography camera, uh, I switched a uh, brand and went for a Nikon D7200. Currently I have the 18-55 standard, standard lens on this, this is the kit lens which comes with the camera, but I have quite an interesting selection of lenses behind me, including one of my longest lenses that I use with this camera, which is my 70-300 Sigma. I also have a 55-200 Nikon and a 24-70mm Sigma there as well as 28 to 80 millimeter behind me on the shelf. Now, if I've spoken to you about what I, what I like doing, you'll know that I all, I'm also quite into video, which is why I'm doing level two creative productions, so I can do video productions and music tech and a bit of game. So I'm currently filming this on my JVC GY150, where I'm completely fitted out with a Rode mic and there's video light on the top, which is why I'm all shiny. Woo, woo. In a minute I'll show you what I'm filming with and I'll switch onto the filming mechanism of my Nikon because the brilliant thing about this thing is it's very good at video. Hello, this is my JVC GY150 video camera. I mainly use this for railway videography, occasionally nature, and I usually do have interviews with it. I've got this big beam light up top which I use for dark situations. I'm sure you'll agree it's quite bright. It runs off the same batteries as my Nikon, so I don't have loads of AA batteries and stuff lying around. It's got dual SD card slots and shoots in full HD. It's got focus right at the front so I can do manual focus, which is usually what I do. And it's quite good. It's small so I can carry it one-handedly like a classic video camera. I've got my Rode NTG2 up top here with big fluffy thing, also known as a dead cat. Yes. Um, I don't always use this mic, I also have my standard audio mic, which I mainly use for interviews, it's a Red 5, and yeah, now I'm going to switch back to the JVC and talk about the photos I've taken. I take a wide range of photos, mostly of the railway industry, because I travel a lot, I use the railways quite a bit to travel to different locations to do photo shoots. But also, I do quite, I've do i been to Green and Common quite recently, and I took some very artistic shots of some of the old barriers and, and weaponry silos. If you didn't know what Green and Common is, it's uh, an old Cold War missile base that was owned, owned by the United States Air Force. So there's old gates with the peace women, which were, who weren't, didn't want any of the nuclear missiles to be launched, would chain themselves to. So I took some photos of the gates, some leaves, some other things I saw around Green and Common. And I will insert a few of those photos into the video. Here. Thank you. 